the motherfuckers is always fucking up my schedule. They want me to be on time for they shit, and they shit ain't on time. No, I, I no, I I kick back on that. One. You know what I'm saying? So start your show early so we could have an early meeting. We gonna start at ten. Here it is, ten forty one. Basically eleven. Hi, Zoe. A nigga don't really sleep. So if I'm in bed, sleeping as good as I can or as I have in months, I gotta interrupt that sleep, get up and go do some shit and niggas be late. First of all, ever since OJ died and the total eclipse, everything been off. <laughs> everything been OJ off. OJ done died, the juice has expired, honey. There's just a lot going on in the cosmics. Yeah, we had a lot of <laughs> shit happening. The total eclipse, OJ. Let me just get to my uh, promotions real quick. I'm going to do this shit fast than a motherfucker. Uh, <clears throat> go to MrZoWhat.com to get your He Is Risen. As a matter of fact, there is a brother by the name of Ronald Bethia. Mm. I think you're in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I couldn't ship your package off, good sir, because your address ain't right. Mm -hmm. Now, Puerto Rico is America, so I don't have to pay any international fees yeah, for this good. but ronald can you re-email me your correct address puerto rico because this shit didn't show up in the system they said this ain't and this ain't it did you put the the plus one on there oh that's for phone numbers okay <laughs> so <laughs> he is risen i've been shipping out all of the overdue orders as well as the current orders that came in from last week. And I'm, what I'm starting to realize is the motherfuckers who be complaining about, oh, I didn't get my package, also don't tell me when they did. So if I email you and say, hey, did you get, oh yeah, it did come, thank you. But you was complaining that it wasn't there and then when I sent you out another one or some shit like that, you don't tell me you got it. Mm. Come on, y'all, this, this is a two-way street. This is America, Jack. Hey, everybody hit that like button. <laughs> hit that like button. Hit the share button. We about to get started. We got to keep it going. If you want, he is risen. Go to my website, MrZoeWhat.com, MrZoeWhat.com. You know, it's Monday. I got two shows on Monday. This is the first. My homeboy Ray Grady is in the building. We got a lot to talk about. A lot has been happening in the news. I want you guys to support Total Package Energy. Go to TotalPackageEnergy.com. I want you guys to support Beal Sauce. Go to BealSauce.com. If it ain't Beal, it, if it ain't real, it ain't Beal. I want you to support ShepherdSweets.com. Please continue to support my books, my brands. The Relationship Dismount is available on Amazon.com and multiple platforms. Go there right now. Go to my website, MrZoeWhat.com and purchase the Shrouded Lighthouse. Can we get a hundred people, because we're going to have nearly five, six hundred people in here. Can we get a hundred of those people to buy a book? If we get a hundred people to buy a book, I can pay my mortgage. How about that? So come on. Let's get the support cracking. Let's go. Zoe, I didn't get my package. Hold up. I didn't order. Yeah. Exactly. It'd be that kind of, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying people are lying. I'm saying since I've been shipping these off, Listen, they've been getting lost in the mail. I done got a couple of these packages sent back to me, ripped open with a sorry for the inconvenience note from the <coughs> post office. I think there's certain people at the post office who are hip to what's in there. Mm. And they be like, I'm taking this shit to the house. Oh, wow. I'm finna tear this monkey down. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. This, this ain't Texas. <laughs> y'all remember that scene in i robot when will was in that house and that machine woke up and tore that house up oh my God. Kept hitting that that this show. what this see see let me tell you something the pussy is a baby apartment what happened what happened it's a baby condominium that's a good one that's a good one and when you practice in making a baby you tear that condominium up you see get you some of this he is risen <laughs> Huh? You get you some he is risen and you tear that baby apartment down <laughs> like that scene. He was like, boom. <laughs> tear that 
down. You understand? Said, Boy, if you ain't tearing it down, what you doing if you ain't tearing it down? Said, oh, oh, you ain't building it up. Huh? <laughs> what <laughs> are you up? doing if you not tearing it down? Hey, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> you better tell me all night. Hey, I want to know. <laughs> hey. I'm trying to tell you, this bed's too big. Oh. For me, for me. No, to be all alone. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that reason? So my bitch can come no home way. tonight. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah, oh, great. I'm, I'm only boning. <laughs> Man, you stupid. Don't ask me for too much. I'm not your super reason. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, first of all, I want to apologize to the Ramadan community for uh, <laughs> Grady's hat when we discussing these issues. Ramadan is over, nigga. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah. Well, yeah, Ramadan over. But. So it's about to go up. <laughs> but if you, you're risen, it'll stay there. Man, Get your head, Rizzo. Go to my website. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, ah. shit. Go to my website, mrsowood.com. <laughs> 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 All right. Support, 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 support. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the share button. Let's get everybody in here. We got a lot to talk about. Let's Dot com, no pun intended. My homeboy, uh, Ray Grady. Me and Ray Grady are about to embark upon some crazy shit. Wow. Y'all remember back in the day uh, on the Foxhole, Jamie Foxx's Foxhole Radio, there was a show called Speedy's Comedy Corner. Yeah. This is when I got my shot. This is like 2006, 2007. Okay. My shot in radio. And very few comedians know me like Ray know me. Ray know I... I can snap with you now. He's super funny. <laughs> but when I got on that show, Marcus was like, you can't snap. He said, I don't want you to snap. He said, I want you to be the voice of reason. It was like 13 comics. Louis Dix, Rodney Perry, everybody. Just Speedy. I mean, everybody was TV there. Pain. You know, everybody. Corey, everybody, Melanie Camacho, all Tiffany had uh, everybody. One guy there too. Guy Who? Was there. Guy was on there too, huh? Guy Tory. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody. So he was like, "You gotta, you can't." He said, "You gotta resist the urge to snap back. You gotta be above them niggas. <laughs> you gotta run the conversation. You gotta be, you know, the voice of reason with the information. And that's where the voice of reason was born." Mm. And when Ray Grady came to me and said, man, we got to do a relationship roundtable with a bunch of comedians. I said, oh, shit, this is a throwback to Speedy's comedy. This shit's about to be incredible. Ray Grady weekend. Yeah, tell them about it, Ray. Tell them where they could go to buy their tickets. Me and <coughs> Ray Grady together in L.A.? It's going to be crazy. So that'll be live at the Connect 6111 South Gramercy, y'all old bread factory. Uh, for those who don't know, that's the Nipsey Hustle Vector 90 if you're in Los Angeles. But May 10th, that is me and Big Brother Zoe. So what we kind of do like a Q&A with relationship with the comics. And they go, and Zoe is the, you know, because I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I like to, you know, be creative and come up with new ideas and new ways to engage the audience. And, you know what I'm saying? Because I get tired of the same old, same old. So if you want to participate in Grady Weekend, which you should because you want to be there, raygrady.co, go on and get your tickets, May 10th, May 11th. So that Friday night is the Relationship round Roundtable Q and A with the comedians as well as the people in the audience, right? And then the next night, the eleventh, you don't want to miss that because that's the Alpha Male Comedy Tour comedy show 
live at the speakeasy at the connect. So I encourage you, get your tickets. Because you're not going to be able to get in. It's going to be crazy. This is my third annual doing it in Los Angeles. I haven't even took Grady Weekend to my crib. I haven't took it to Chicago. Oh, wow. I ain't took it to the crib yet. I ain't took it to Chicago yet. Only because I live here. I I live here, right? So all of you promoters I done done shows for, I don't do free tickets. I don't do them for women or men. I don't do guest lists. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I do? I put on a fucking amazing show. We have great drinks. I have good talent. Big Brother Zoe. By the way, Friday. Oh, shit. Uh Zoe. What did I do? Hey, bro. (laughs) Salute, bro. Like, Zoe had the impromptu relationship joint. You know what I'm saying? Q&A. You and the sister. What's her name? Her name is. Delana Zimmerman. I bet. That's so, who showed up. Cool. So my point is, yes, the <laughs> way you managed that venue, yeah. and people was really getting their feeling, Sarah and the, the YouTubers on the Zoe What Show, these people was really getting their feelings, and then when Zoe bring up his thesis, his mm-hmm. syllabus, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Everybody kind of just like, oh, shoot, this is... I need this. And then one brother, he got upset and took on the whole what? the whole venue, right? Mm-hmm. But I'll I'll say this though. That was great, bro. I was I was sitting there like and I ain't been in a good headspace since I lost my mother. I know. So I was just sitting there listening. That was the first time you ever seen me not really talk. I Everybody kept pointing, they kept pointing out like Grady, that go Grady. And I'm like, I ain't saying a word. Hey, nigga. So I man, that shit was dope, in, bro. But um, Grady, I, what Grady was doing was laughing. Man. <laughs> I couldn't hold it, bro. <laughs> I was No, we set it off. He said, No, so you gonna be doing that. The dude in the back. And he was like, hold on. Zoe, so imagine 80 people trying to talk to Zoe at one time. And then the 80 people was trying to answer each other's question. Yeah. And then Zoe said, All right, enough is enough. He pulled his pants up, fixed his coat, put the cigar down, and said, Listen, we're gonna get to you, 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 we're gonna get to you. I see you over there in the polka dot. I see you over there in the navy blue. I see you in the sailor's cap. Hey, bro. Hey, dog. That was a very well managed event, bro. Man. <laughs> My head go out. I was like, yo, Zo, for real. I called Tip. I was like, Tip, I ain't never seen. Hey, this nigga that wears socks neither. So I know he ready wow. at any given moment. He don't give a damn. But hey, bro, that was kudos to you. And then the homie, uh, uh, Big Pee Wee. Not Big Pee Wee. Yeah, Big Pee Wee is a legendary radio guy here in Los Angeles. Oh. Big Pee Wee's like, no, no, so I'm not gonna allow you to attack this man. No, I said, you don't respect this man. Remember, I'm sitting there. Respect the Pee Wee. This nigga said, oh, this nigga about to flip. This nigga about and to flip. And both of y'all got green eyes, so everybody kind of looked. I was like, oh, Pee Wee got green eyes in his own. Oh, it's finna, they finna know, like Crystal Bond, Crystal Hush. And I had just a quick moment, a quick flip. Hey! Respect this motherfucking house. Hey man, look, boy. He said, "Oh shit!" It's a, it's a total vibe at the cigar lounge, though. Drove and Stogie, like yeah. Yeah. No, but it was lit. It was. It was, it was dope. Lit. It was very there was dope. A, there was a live action, a real time attachment injury. What? You know, we were talking about attachment styles, and uh-huh. there was a a real life. Live in the moment, attachment injury. Go deeper, no diddy. Somebody's, <laughs> you know, inner child, their wound was touched. Mm. And, th- and we needed to see that because we were talking about how, you know, attachment styles affect us up into our adult, you know, age. And, and you know, relationships or whatever. It was fire. Was. And to be able to see it in real time and have people, you know, observe it like, oh, that's why I may do this. This why I may. It, it was fantastic. So, well, it, I, well I, I'm a, I ain't going to interject no more. Mm-hmm. When we do it on May 10th, 
Yeah. It will be documented. Oh. Yeah, this one should have been recorded. That should have yeah. been recorded because that you checking and then he, uh, like, look, y'all ain't going to diss him. Yeah. People need to see that because yeah. at the end of the night, everybody shook hands. Yeah. Right. It got intense, but you know, we. You, I think I thought it should be like, where's this videographer? At? Do y'all think that hmm? there should be more open spaces like this? And yeah, like everybody's broken. Time? Oh, it was, everybody's broken. It, and it's mm -hmm. nothing like the bullshit y'all see on the internet. Because mm -hmm. hey, I set that up. Leave them people alone. <laughs> no, I set it up. I was like, the motherfuckers on the internet. Let's just keep it a buck. Yeah. He be going off, Sarah. He was going off Friday. Just, oh, he was you. like, yo, I, was, I, I can't say a name. Most of these motherfuckers stole. I don't know a name. I don't want to say mama said, name. Most of these motherfuckers stole bits and pieces from shit I've been doing for 20 years. So tonight's conversation. Uh -huh. Let's go, bro. And oh, they not. The, the, well, the but that's what I'm saying. That they, podcast? They are. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was at the. Uh, Convention they the, Center. They were at the Convention Center because they had the, the audience and people just come up with random questions that come up. Hey, Zo, so you but think no they saw you? No, no disrespect to them yep. youngsters. <laughs> Seriously. No, but this is why I say it. No mm -hmm. disrespect to them youngsters. They doing what they do as they should. So but we serious. don't live in a creative society. No. Nigga, Jeff Brown called me like, hey, man, what's the doc's number? I want to take her on tour so we can do what you're doing. No. Jeff Brown is my nigga. He's like, you want to go? I said, Jeff, this my shit. With you. I'm not trying to be a comic nigga. Everybody want to be Jermaine Dupree. Everybody want to remix everybody else's shit. Oh, okay. No, not, Jeff is my nigga. Jeff. I, I love definitely you, Jeff. do this shit not with you. Jeff. Absolutely. Salaamu alaykum. But what I'm saying is, when motherfuckers see what I do, typically motherfuckers want to pattern a piece of it. Okay. And I'm saying, you can't pattern the shit I do. You can't you can go do it. You can go, oh, Zoe had a this and a that and a this and a that. And you could go put it together, but it, without me, it ain't going to be me because it's it's a product of what I do. So if I was to say, if well, these people would say, what's the difference between you, God bless the dead, Kevin Samuels, auntie, you know, uh, uh, you, you know what I mean, Van Zlan, and then these kids, the, the conversation of children. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, it is. That What's is the difference? Because uh, is it because your your I always said episodes Kevin, ain't edited, and, but you know it's got to be something. You know, a lot something. of these guys, yeah, they they're masters more of of social media and how to get their shit into the algorithm, and you know they understand. Oh, you know, sixty second clip, no more than that. You know, they understand. You know that side of it. Uh, and they understand drama. They understand yeah. messiness. That shit sells. No disrespect to them either. However, uh, like if you take Kevin Samuels, I've always said Kevin Samuels is the 48 laws of power of relationships. Right? Yeah. Uh, I don't... That's a good reason. I never too. try to discredit Kevin Samuels because what he is saying is absolutely the truth from a certain level of consciousness, from a certain perspective. From a hood perspective, from a I get money perspective, from a societal perspective, Kevin Samuels is 100% right. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you not pretty enough to make any demands. Aye. From that perspective, wow. though, you're not attractive enough. You're five. So a five should be happy to be here. Your personality is winning. <laughs> hey! You understand? That's a Kevin Samuels kind of thing, right? Oh, I thought that was you, bro. I'm hey. sorry. No. I thought that was, oh, I was like, Zoe, I ain't never. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I thought that was you. I'm saying. Okay. So there, there's, there, there's a physicality piece. Yes, sir. Right? There's mm -hmm. the, the aesthetic piece. And then when you get into the aesthetic piece, nobody pulled back the layer enough and said, well, most of our aesthetics and what we consider beautiful come from Europeans. You rarely see black men embracing the beauty of black women without the contour of the European touch on it. Ooh, just a touch. Just a touch of European. You know that nose is looking mighty bagelish. Whoa. I'm gonna need you to contour the edges of that. Well, that Boy, that nose looked like the hole in the side of the Pentagon, nigga. Let me tell you. Aye, <laughs> po 
nose not on? <laughs> <laughs> you don't you get that gaping oh, nose out of it. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Hey you stupid that's boy. Crazy. I'm gaping just, nose. I'm just saying. So when huh. we yeah. when we're listening to Kevin Samuels, we're listening Damn. to a certain kind of standard. Damn. Well go on. And he was the master of that, and I give him credit for that, and he's 100% right at that level of consciousness. Me and Ayala Van Zant are in the same space because we have a different approach and understanding that relationships are inherently spiritual. They got nephew Tommy doing it, bro. That's what I'm saying. The, the, oh, you're talking about on real, was it? One of them. My sisters, yeah. they watched the show. Yeah, my homegirl was on that show. She's still single. My God, but she has events now. And I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys got to go back and think about it. Nigga. I started at the Foxhole in 2006. We got the Voice of Reason April 10th, 2008. The Voice of Reason is 15 years old. Wow. So when they go, so sound like Kevin Samuels. What? Kevin Samuels came after me. A lot of niggas came after me. I set the tone. I was doing shit that niggas wasn't doing. Listen, look at how many mansion type shows have come after I did mansions. But are they of the quality or the caliber of mansions? Uh, Listen, it was Guy Black who told me. Guy Black said, because early on I used to be like, niggas be stealing. Niggas be stealing shit from me. I, nigga, 2007, 2008 or something, I did a, in 2008, I did a show called Cellmate or Soulmate. Mm. Oh, wow. Literally, a woman that had a show, I ain't gonna say her name because I'm not trying to be messy, but a woman that had a show on the foxhole did a topic called Cellmate or Soulmate. I had to call them and say, this is from a book I'm writing. You can't just listen to my shit and redo it. Right? Black, black. Guy black. black hit me up and says, Zo. He said, yo, let me let me tell you. He said, motherfuckers will steal your shit, yep. but they can't steal you. My lord. He was like, what you do, the niggas can't replicate the you in it. They can replicate the idea of it, but they can't replicate the you of it. Mm-hmm. But do you think people care about that? That's so I was just, for a minute I was pissed off. I didn't see it as flattery. You know, imitation is the greatest mm-hmm. form of flattery. I didn't see it as flattery. I saw it as, nigga, the you know. fuck are you doing? <laughs> Y'all niggas are stealing. Real shit. Like, do what you po to do. This is my lane. What I'm doing and what I'm po to do. You, what you po to do? Do what you po to do. Don't do what I'm po to do. <laughs> but, you know, 2015 or, or shit, where are we at? 2024? Oh, damn. Like, yeah. Nigga, that's 15 years of the yeah. voice of reason. Yeah. That's 15 years of the voice of reason. And these youngsters that are out here doing it, I, hey, go get your money. Go get your money. But what I do recognize is this shit is more entertainment than it is enlightenment. And there's no disrespect to that. And I'm not saying that there there isn't any truth in what they're saying because at a certain level, there is. That's how you have an audience. So there's no disrespect, but the shit we did at the Cigar Lounge, niggas had a whole epiphany. A nigga had, nigga got up and left. It was a whole spiritual, goddamn, this nigga done ripped my whole spirit open in front of people type yeah. shit. Yeah, I was there, so you know what I mean. <laughs> I That's that. the kind of work we were doing. So, no disrespect to the youngsters. I wish them well. I hope them, the, I wish them the best. I hope they keep cooking. You know, I hope they keep people interested. And even them, they be having, like, uh, somebody sent me a clip. I think uh, a, a sister from... Pensacola, Florida sent me a clip of of their piece and they had like a sister on, she was a therapist and I thought it was cool. I was like, that's that's good shit. I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. So like, you're not gonna get me to, to, to tear them down. Just realize 
there was a nigga here doing this shit for many years prior to, you know, and a lot of these youngsters are inspired by the work that I've done. And I'm just going to say, if the white man make you cite him, you got to cite your own, cite your sources, cite your family, cite your brothers and sisters, you know, cite your uncle Zoe. If you got some shit from me, cite me, God But it. ghost writers get paid. You're a therapy ghost writer, really. Because everybody keep You're on using You're a therapy it. ghost writer. <laughs> yeah. Sustained counsel. <laughs> that was Damn. a good one. Actually. You're a therapy yeah. ghost that writer. That was. What up, Mo? <laughs> that was fire. Right? That's you know, I get a little time. Okay, Sarah. Sarah, come okay. in with the demo. She like, bing. That was, that was kind right? of cold right there. I, everybody hit the like button. Listen. <laughs> Hey, everybody hit that like button. Do me that solid. And listen, y'all got to support the channel, all right? The easiest way to support the channel is by supporting the businesses we put in front of you. But also, there's a dollar sign right here at the bottom of the chat. Can we get everybody to hit that super chat? Or if you want to put the money straight into my pocket, hit my cash app. Can y'all hit the cash app dollar sign? Zo what netter? Please, please, please support, support, support. This is a support-driven show. I want you to support Sarah as well. I want you to support my brother Ray Grady as well. We're about to get into these topics. Please continue to support. Do it right now. Everybody that shouts us out, I'm going to shout you out. Everybody that hits us up on Cash App, on Super Chat, I'm going to shout you out. My moderators are going to suit, uh, shout you guys out. Please continue to support shout shout cash app it out Lisa. we got sydney berry on my cash app hey. we got jazz on my cash yes. app come on y'all let's keep it rolling everybody that uh sends a cash app i'm gonna shout you out but i need you guys to show up and show out all right show up and show out let's get to it oj the juice has expired oh my god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> hey! Damn it, OJ! <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, oh Lord. Mm. What's the difference between OJ and Reggie Bush? One is from here, and another is from other places. That's the and difference. It, mm. Right? You want to be? You want to be simple? You don't want to be. One is from here, and another is from other places. Man, damn, man. We believe a lot of shit that get pushed. No, no, no. Play, uh. <laughs> Give up a crap. That was my no, no. music. <laughs> play, no. <laughs> play the Lonely Man by Something the Incredible Hulk. You, lonely Man theme. <laughs> no, we believe a lot of shit the media tells us. Okay. We believe. <clears throat> A lot of shit the media tells us. Both California guys. Uh, OJ is from San Francisco. Reggie Bush is from San Diego. Both were incredible running backs. Uh, both brothers came under attack of the system. That's Sarah. Sarah. USC has not given this brother his Heisman back. He should have gotten his Heisman back. As many games that motherfucker won for SC, as much attention as he brought to SC, recruits who wanted to play like Reggie Bush. My Lord. You say, well, how do you juxtapose Reggie Bush and OJ Simpson? Sarah in this damn organ, man. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Mr. Goldman, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Bill Bixby, <laughs> Oh, thank 
executor named in O.J. Simpson, in O.J. Simpson's will, says he'll do everything to ensure the Goldman family gets zero <laughs> He's stupid. from his estate. Why? Why is it that? And I don't know what happened. I'm not saying O.J. did or didn't do it. I mm. have no idea of what happened. Uh huh. But you got a lot of people coming out. Judge Joe Brown came out and said, I saw all the evidence. The man was framed. This is why I'm juxtaposing him versus Reggie Bush. Mm. Man, we believe everything the media tells us about our guys. You know how many black people have said OJ did it? And they mad. Do you know? O.J. Simpson, his estate is $114 million in debt to the Goldmans. What? Because remember, they were awarded like $33 million per person that was murdered. So when you tack on the interest. They got a two-piece. This nigga said a two-piece. A two-piece murder special. <laughs> I'm just saying, they can say something and make it stick. Mm. It's their if, country, man. If, if a judge, Judge Joe Brown, said, I seen all the evidence, the, the, uh, the sock was planted, the imprint of the shoes that they found was a nine and a half, this nigga had a big-ass foot. The gloves was a tiny ass glove. His yeah. hands was double extra large. Like they proved everything Ooh. that he was framed, but we believe it. Ooh. Now we rather believe our opinion about shit. Ooh. My, my, my. We, we'd rather believe what we want to believe. Yeah. We don't want to believe the experts in anything. Because we think our opinion makes us expert. No, no. See, you, you can have your own opinion. You can't have your own facts. And the reality of it is, there are many lawyers and attorneys and, and people like a judge, like Judge Joe Brown, that are saying, the dude was framed. They saying this is a civil case. Some people are saying it's a criminal case. But then, yeah. it, but look at it, how our justice system works. The criminal case... He's acquitted. If, if it doesn't fit, you, you must. must acquit. Yes, so he's acquitted, not guilty, but then flip right back <clears throat> around and say, but you're guilty for this. Why? How? Well, it's a different circumstance, a different set of laws, a different set of perspectives that in turn make you guilty and liable. Yeah. How so? Uh, it, I'm guilty over here, but not over. So this is why I always say, refrain from the media. I don't know what the fuck happened. Mm. I don't know now? who responsible. I don't know who did what ain't none of my business. What I do know, the person that is now the executor of OJ's estate says he going to make sure that don't nobody get that money. Huh. Mm. Except for him. Wow. Boy, no, OJ, <laughs> listen, you know, OJ's legal team was <laughs> the first team that couldn't play, that was unathletic, couldn't play no sports called the Dream Team. Exactly. Very true. Exactly. Very true. They're the Fab Five. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> Them motherfuckers was like the running rebels with <laughs> Larry true. Johnson and Stacey Ogley, man. Boy, yeah. them yeah. motherfuckers had the team. Yeah, they were the WNBA version of... No, no, and they set up OJ perfectly. Yeah. But he in terms ass. of protecting his assets. They, you, they couldn't touch nothing. Mm -hmm. So, just because you hell-bent on it being him, and I'm not saying you don't have the right to feel some kind of way. Maybe the relationship he had, you know, with uh, Nicole was abusive. Yeah. Okay, I ain't gonna take that off the table. Yeah. Maybe he was abusive. Maybe you really didn't like him. Maybe you didn't like their relationship. Maybe you feel like he actually did it. And you're entitled to that feeling. But just because you feel a certain way doesn't necessarily mean you are owed something for that feeling. It, your feeling gotta get proven. 
But your, but the one thing a, the white man loves to do is to make sure that a black man is never confident enough to think that he equal to them. But they didn't I say this down. last week? Yeah. About uh, Puffy? Yeah. I said, I don't know what the fuck Puffy did. But with everybody in the world coming out going, hey, Puffy. Mm-hmm. Puffy done did some things. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck Puffy did. But if he did do that shit, I said, treat our monsters in the way you treat your monsters. Yeah. What I know is that Dylan Booth kid went into a church in South Carolina, shot up nine nine black parishioners while they were in there praying. And the police took that nigga to go get lunch. That's what I know. That's what I know. All I'm saying is OJ got sent to prison, hard prison for stealing his own shit. shit. Hey, this is my shit. You don't get to just sell my shit. You know what, nigga, what you doing here? You're going to jail. You know what? (laughs) Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying he didn't break the law. I'm not, but do you understand? They treat our monsters like monsters and they treat their monsters like Monster Inc. Oh, not Monster They get a movie Inc. deal. They, you get a movie deal. Nigga, you a cute ass monster. Listen, our monsters get treated like monsters. Look at what are Charles your thoughts Manson. On that? Yeah. Robert Blake, Charles Manson, all mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. Nigga, Charles Manson was getting interviews and did it nigga come out. <laughs> the black that. people are the chosen. <laughs> the black people are the chosen. You understand? <laughs> You're going to find out when the black people find out that. Jesus is back, and not only is he back, he's back. Uh, yeah. This nigga had whole interviews, crazy than a motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker yeah, said, right if I was a bitch. killer, it wouldn't be none of you left. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. He did man. do that. He <laughs> said, if I was a killer, it wouldn't be none of you left. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that nigga's weird. The fuck, nigga? <laughs> motherfucker Charlie, nigga. I'm, I'm Big Charles. I never killed anybody. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. <laughs> what well, what was the girl? What was the sister? What was her name? Which sister? Uh the white girl that did the killing for him. Oh, she did that. I didn't S- do Samantha nothing. Samantha Tate. What was her name? Uh-huh. Something. Oh, some Tate. Oh, some yeah. Tate, some Tate. Oh, what did or was Tate the one that got killed? I think Tate, Tate was, was the, the actress that, ki- that got killed. The chicks that uh carried out his uh Yeah, he was like, "Hey, they have their beings of free will." <laughs> Why you keep moving like that? Cuz that's <laughs> He was on some spiritual pimping, like hey. He was pimping too. <laughs> on some spirit pimping. He was pimping too. He was uh, him, David Koresh, uh, yeah. Jim Jones. Jim Jones said, "Call me daddy." If you <laughs> listen, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Yeah. The Jim Jones of politics. I'm very good with the with the Latinos. You know. <laughs> Anybody want some Kool Aid? Oh. <laughs> you know you niggas oh. love Kool-Aid. You I've got a little ice in here. Little Enjoy purple. the purple of it all. Right. Oh. Do you like purple or red? Whichever flavor you like. I have both flavors. I'll I combine mean, them and make. <laughs> I mean, that time when he when he did get that, I was, <laughs> what, two years out of high school. So, and I remember the sisters probably was mad that he chose a white girl over them. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of, because, what, a couple years prior to that, Rodney King, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So you know, I think uh, I don't. It's it's just a, so. What do you feel about the, the the brothers that do when they start making bread? They take their bread and go put it to them Anglo's financial institutions. This is my financial advisor, mm-hmm. but then they not black financial advisors. Yeah, they're not I black mean, banks. But they, they court not. them. You have to understand. A lot of them they court these athletes and stuff like that. I got that. you. Black people like they're like, hey, we you fucking with me? You fucking with me? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like they really don't. They pull out the red carpet, they do all that, because I'm going to give all of this out because I know I'm going to take your money to pay for everything I just spent. My man that does jewelry for the kids when they go to the NBA draft or the NFL draft, Mm -hmm. right? Uh They actually go to these drafts, Mm -hmm. and they hit these goofies over the head with this jewelry because they just get – Ain't that predatory on the humble? Like you, know, you I'm, a little I, bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. For sure. Okay. And right. let me hit you. But I get what I did. What you're saying, Sarah, when you say mm-hmm. that's a to me that's a form of courting. Yeah. 
But if you see a lot of the ones grooming, how yeah. many? Okay, grooming. Okay. How many real big athlete agents did you see that they have somebody black that they don't know? The only time they fool with somebody black really is they family, or they've been knowing it for a long time. Look at LeBron. Okay. His boy is rich and stuff like that because he carried him up. All the other ones, it's like because the the, the white man gonna tell you whatever you need, whatever they gonna they gonna study you. Whatever you and they gonna, want, and they gonna they gonna try to satisfy that. My heart belongs the only other, to I mean, you. The That's only pretty other thing dope. That does that, like the concierge services for the NBA and the NFL that they do. They're in the ple- they're in the pleasure to, they're in the business to please. Now let me just hit you with this. Yeah. That's the dope. Zo What Show many years ago had the black version of these white guys. He had the the black version on. My homeboy got his own office and building in in Pasadena, California. E. Sylphie Taylor. I had E. Sylphie Taylor on the Zo What Show many different times. He's a wealth management professional. Got his own company now. You understand what I'm saying? He 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 deals with celebrities and athletes. And if you ever got a piece of change, go fuck with him to manage it and grow it. But you're right. A lot of the white folk be hanging around the black folk, mm-hmm. especially the black talent, the black artists, the black you know athletes, whatever. To be able to slide right in and get that spot, mm-hmm. you're right. We should employ uh, the black version or their black counterparts. But the reality of it is, we got to know yeah. who they are, and that's why I brought him on my show so he could get the visibility mm-hmm. from our community that he needs. Somebody said T Radio V days. Exactly. I remember, bro. Yeah, he came on the show. I had him on with Antonio Moore, and they were going back and forth. So again. We just got to get educated because there are brothers out there that have this knowledge, that have this information, and we got to support them. Can I, can, I, can I propose one thing, though? Have yeah. you thought about it this way? A lot of, even though we're, 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 we're far gone from slavery and stuff like that, some niggas still is okay being owned by the white man. They're okay. Well, somebody will argue OJ was like that. He was. He, he's, I'm not Let's black. Not I'm forget. OJ. Listen, when you doing good, mm-hmm. when you doing good, the white man holding my money. You know, the <laughs> white man is all right with me, man. Ain't white man ain't never did nothing to me, man. Have y'all ever seen that video, hey. um, How to Sell to an Uppity Nigga? Let me mm-hmm. tell you something. Oh, it's, Let me tell you something. It's dope. It's dope because it is so indicative of like you never show an uppity nigga when they come into your store the, the clearance rack. You always take them because if they came into the store, they already come in knowing that they want to show out and they're going to want your best. So show them the most expensive things because they're going to do whatever in their power to prove to you that they can afford it. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. White man ain't never did nothing wrong to me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, I was not born during Jim Crow. I was not born during slavery time. I was born during a time of opportunity. Mm. And I was uniquely positioned to take advantage of opportunities that were uniquely suited for me at the time. And you know who helped me at the time? You know who uh, would listen when all others would forsake me? It was the white man. I'd try to go to my brothers. I would try to pull my brothers into situations and circumstances that would benefit us all. But you know what they said to me? They said, listen here, we can't do this because we don't have the resources. Mm. And I just did not settle for that. I, I talked to my white brothers and they came to me and they said, you know what? You are brilliant. You are better than the niggas you were raised around. <laughs> and we will pour into your mission. Let me tell you, a white man ain't never did nothing. I'm telling you, we got niggas like that. We got niggas like that. Mm-hmm. And guess who was like that? Hmm. No disrespect. Orenthal was Oh yeah, that's his real name. Yeah, but see, you got to remember where Orenthal was from. He's from the projects in San Francisco. Anybody know about the projects in San Francisco? No, it's some real shit up there. <laughs> Ain't no regular project, my nigga. <laughs> the Bay Rock. Yeah, that now, yeah. Hey, hey. that forehead they getting stretched out like that for nothing. That nigga fault. And when he <laughs> listen, 
when he got to the level, this mm. nigga was selling chicken. This nigga was jumping over suitcases. This nigga was running through the airport. Honey bag ham. This nigga was on. Hey, this nigga was in movies. This yeah. nigga was at another level. Yep. Them white people said, this is the type of nigga we want. Ooh, run, Little did they know. Mm. What is that a project called? Hunters? Hunters Park? Hunter, what is it called? Up in I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about them. Little the did they know. Huh. That boy stabbing game. The was projects <laughs> was still up in him. But he understood the game. Mm-hmm. He understood. Let me shut my ass up. Let me let me be presentable. He went to USC, private school, you know. Mm-hmm. He knew how to talk, was articulate, handsome brother. And he rode that shit and got paid. But you know how it is. I've seen a lot of my people that are like this, they get to a certain level, masters of code switching. Mm -hmm. King Kunta. Mm -hmm. Masters of knowing how to act in front of motherfuckers but be ratchet, hood, and fucking toe up behind closed doors. Present as if I've overcome myself. (laughs) (laughs) What what, what he do, what he do, son? I've overcome myself. I. I have defeated myself. I have left my wounds in ruins. Was it I who spoke? Was I not also a listener? Oh. Hawk, who goes there? Hi. It sounds as if... (laughs) The angels. The remnants (laughs) of my former self. It dogs me. It chases me down. I want it... No more. No longer do I want to be pursued by my old self. Oh, look at Robert Dog. <laughs> <laughs> the angels speak. Nigga, you God, still the same nigga you used to be. I don't give a fuck what Instagram said. <laughs> Motherfucker <laughs> posted a picture of themselves with some painted on wings. Oh, you no painted goddamn on angel. <laughs> wings, those painted on Man. wings. <laughs> but I think we. But I think it's. Do you do you really think we like that though? We yeah. really like fucking with the Anglo's. Mm. We I don't give a shit what it is. Ain't no listen. When we get money, we don't stay around each other. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Niggas don't because of the predatorial shit that comes. A lot with of it niggas sometimes. don't yeah. like working with niggas because there's self hate yeah. in niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when I say there's self hate in niggas, I'm saying my self hate prevents me from fucking with you. Your self-hate prevents you from fucking with me. Mm. My lack of self-worth and lack of self-trust. And if I can't trust my mama, there's no way I'm going to trust you. If I can't trust my father, there's no way I'm going to trust you. If I can't trust myself, which I learned from them, there's no way I can trust you. So if we're walking into relationships with each other, business or personal If we're not reconciling the shit that is within us, it's hard for us to make lasting bonds, whether they be business or personal. Mm. Mm -hmm. We think we can replace the work with activities. If we're going to the spot, to, to a great restaurant, if we're going, you know, to a resort, if we're going, wherever we go, and we, oh yeah, we traveled together. We did this together. And we think that can supplant the actual work that is required to heal. Mm-hmm. But listen, the wounds go on vacation too. Hmm. They go right with you. Saint Barts. Mm. They go right <laughs> the fuck with you. So when we look at somebody like OJ or anybody who gets to a certain level, are we not looking at Puffy right now? Puffy. Kanye, all the motherfuckers getting wake up calls. Because white people understand, I'm letting you in here. I'm mm-hmm. letting you in. Mm-hmm. At any moment, I could turn to all my white comrades and say, not him. Mm-hmm. And it mm-hmm. won't go. Oh, wow. See, Kanye recognized that when he came out and started talking hella reckless about the power structure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, overnight, nigga. Overnight. Uh, Adidas, thank keep you. it up. Give me this. What the fuck was in here? Oh, hey, a- Bill, he's going to come over you guys as sketchers. Hey, down it. See you on the golf course. 
choose your wife, yeah. folks. Yeah, they be like, yeah. <laughs> so you can't it's come bring sketches, your bullshit shoe design. And Adidas was like, watch this. Watch this. Listen, Bohemian Grove. Mm-hmm. When you see a black man that has elevated to the status where he fucking with members of the Bohemian Grove, mm. that's the one percent who go there and fucking change the world. This is the this is the way we want the world to look like in three years. This is the way we want the, the world. Child. This motherfucker over here, he gonna be president of the United States. This nigga gonna be president of Uzbekistan. He gonna be prime minister of wherever. We placing motherfuckers already. We're going to make the people think that the vote is real. We're going to make the people think like they're participating in a democratic process, but this is the shit we actually want to go down. When you wanted. see niggas fucking with them type people, two things. Nigga, don't. Just shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing. If, if one of them motherfuckers take an interest in you and push you up, don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. You can't be big headed, nigga. You are by default a pawn. So if you in a situation where you broke and you gotta fuck with them, something about you that's magnanimous or something about you where don't say nothing. Don't get this is why I be mad at LeBron. LeBron be on the court doing this shit like, nigga, the game is rigged. The game is designed. Mm -hmm. I know you work hard in the gym, but don't let it go to your head like you created this is set up to be this way so don't get to I'm the greatest ever nigga. Like Drake running around talking about nigga I'm Michael Jackson or I'm the next Mike. streams are not the same as record sales but it don't matter are bad publicity is good publicity but that's don't what I'm saying care. it's just yeah. you, we, these niggas control the world don't get a big head because and they shit you winning inside their shit. This That's is what their I'm shit. Saying. Like this is their know, shit. Can, can I can I can this say is one their thing? Shit. I think uh -huh. well, um I think I'm very convinced that I think a lot of white people to me sometimes uh smell like dog because they want to make niggas they bitch because they they want to make sure that your everybody is always like in, <laughs> is genius. that wrong? Is that was that too deep? No, that's genius. Okay. That's genius yeah. though. Oh, th thank you. Oh, I genius. appreciate it. I like that. It's sleep depriving. Like, we, they own all this. Yeah. Like, when I figured out social media, <laughs> I'm about to chase, what was it, like 60,000 subscribers? And then some kind of way I got mm -hmm. shadow banned because mm -hmm. certain things that come on my feed, I comment as a comment. I don't, but I make you think it's personal. Mm -hmm. Like, if... If I said, shut up, bitch, you're going to be like, dang, Grady mean. But I'm really, my voice is deeper than yours. That's all. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't care. But, but I'm not smiling more, with it. You're more of a threat because you're a black man that knows self. Yeah. And anybody that yeah. knows themselves and they didn't give you the script, you you off script right now. Yeah. You're like, wait, 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 hold on. Because yeah. this is read, all make-believe. He yeah. can read on his own? Mm. Oh, wait, who, who gave him this, this nigga a book? Yeah. You know, so it's just different. Because I was like, I don't really I don't really care about the social media. Like, I try to do what you can, but at the end of the day, this is their shit. This is their shit. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, this is they shit. But what makes your comedy and stuff like that even more, uh, I think, more uh, uh, legit is because you really don't be on social media like that, like, like working and working and working like that. But it goes you against you if you're doing but live you events. But selling out. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying, okay, so when I do the speakeasy out here in L.A., mm -hmm. and this is where I'm, I don't want to get off track, but Zoe just made a good point. If I hate myself, mm -hmm. if I can't trust such and such, then I know I can't do business with you. Yeah. So when I go through the streets of Los Angeles, I'm not from here. I'm not from L.A., so I don't know the pockets in the runner. So then when I get to this motherfucker, and then a nigga turn around and say, hey, where you doing your comedy show at? Nigga, I'm at the speakeasy. Where that's at? Oh, that's on 6111 South Grammys. You talking about by gauge? I don't give a fuck if it's by gauge, cage, or stage. Nigga, that's where the show is at, nigga. Okay, because I'm not afraid of none of you nigga neighborhoods. I don't get no fuck. I ain't gang tied here. Hey, hey, hey. But then I say, okay, well, where's your people at? Because you from here. 
Open the door to your people and let everybody know we come in here and put on a motherfucking event. Uh-huh. That's what niggas were like, oh, tight lip. Yeah. So I understand what Zoe was saying. Yeah. So this is their shit. So what you do is you don't even fuck with them. You just move them out the way and go to your people. And that's what you do. And did. I'm mad at OJ for fucking with white women anyway. Yeah. <laughs> OJ was one of the first niggas to have one of them white women. Listen, I'm not against authentic, organic love. Not against it. If you authentically and organically fall in love with somebody white, okay. All right. I'm not here to tell you who you should love. Love will show up in any race. Okay? I get that. But... When you look at OJ, Heisman, MVP, (laughs) one of the coldest running backs, set the template for the way a lot of young black men walk in society. 2,000 yards in 16 games. uh, Right, 2,000 yards. First to hit some kind of, some type of Blasian, (laughs) Blexican complexion. It ain't, you randomly or rarely see Young cats, recruits, ball players, basketball players, you rarely see them going after the beautiful, chocolate, badass sister. You rarely see them go after them. Travis well, Kelsey you, had a black sister before uh, Taylor Swift. And she, she was, was mocha. Fine. She and was fine. She was <laughs> fine as fuck. But yeah. she isn't considered. You can see that there's a little spoonage, little mixture in that motherfucker. Yeah. But what the, because the, I saw the brother, the Hooper, I think his name is Josh Powell, play for the, he played the NBA, plays in the NBA now. Yeah, yeah. And they asked, the, the sister asked him, like, well, why do you guys mm-hmm. wife up the white chicks and not the sisters? Mm-hmm. And he said, there's a, Huge level of an expectation of a sister. What to do? I'm this, I'm this, so you got to provide this, provide this. And he said, with the white women, they hush. That's the first thing they do, hush, and then they come there to be of service to us niggas as athletes. What well, it just made you seem like you're not enough to be with a black woman in. Let me just no, say no, no, this, I don't, I'm, not, black- I'm not saying that he's wrong. I'm not saying that he's right. I'm just uh-huh. saying when they when, when Joe just made the point. I was just saying. Oh, that's his explanation. Yeah, he was, he was saying let, like let we say have this. a. Let me just say this. Mm-hmm. Black men and women are both fucked up by this toxic, toxic society. Toxic, a toxic society will produce toxic households. Toxic households will produce toxic children. Toxic children become toxic adults in toxic relationships. Both black men and black women suffer from generational curses and the pervasive toxicity that is uh, existent or prevalent in this society. Hands down, point blank. Yes, women be out there doing witch shit. Out there... Mm -hmm putting spells and doing all types of shit. Nigga, I'm E5, so I know what it is. You can't touch me. I'm the light. I know what those spells are. But women be out there putting come-to-me spells and binding spells, and Mm. our sisters be on some shit. And they be at the All-Star game, and that one of you hoes can hoop. I said it, nigga. (gasps) But I say all of that to say... I, I said it, nigga. I, I, I'm with it. I but say all of that to say, <laughs> even with all the toxicity in our community, yeah. and brothers be out there abusing women, let's, mm. let's not leave that out. Yeah. Brothers be out there, fuck this whole family. I'm like, I'm out. I'm yeah. going to go fuck with my little Blexican down in the DR. Because she's not going to say nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> she ain't gonna say we nothing. toxic than a motherfucker. Mm. But even with that toxicity, I prefer being with my sisters. Hmm. Oh, ain't nothing like a sister, man. Yeah, because I got to get a shell. Because if you cuss at me, I might be like, shut the fuck up. But then be like, come on, let's go eat some ice cream. Because yeah. she ain't going to turn me down. Or turn your motherfucking ass over yeah. and toot that thing up. Come on, Dan. Put, it, it, Put it, it, the Bobby Womack on. Now, I have a yeah. question. Uh-huh. If you think you're horny now, <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait until this night. Girl, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna leave on and on and on and girl. Oh, yeah. Hey, hold on. Wait until this pipe, girl. Hey, 
Hey, we can't oh. sing Bobby, man, because he, he did Sam dirty. So I, hey. I forgot. I oh, can't I, really. I did the case in yeah, I can't really dirty. fuck with Bobby Womack. I'm, I'm, yeah, because Sam is my favorite. Hey. I can't fuck with that. Who are you? Who then? Wait until tonight. Took his clothes <laughs> and his woman. One of these, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't fuck with <laughs> no, Bobby Womack. Like, but no, but I, I, I'm saying that be we 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 need illness, to toxic. really heal. But do you, I'd rather but do stay you, with our girl, uh, our women mm-hmm. than yeah. anybody else. Black but do you think dope. that their aggressiveness is triggered with a black woman and they feel like, you know, I got to put my hands on her? Because th- now sometimes, I think this is to give the right black woman because some of us black women like a little... That's like kind of a turn. All of y'all like to be dominated. Yeah. Don't ever forget that. Oh, yeah. Every woman in the world want the man to dominate her. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Grab my hair, right? I it's a song. Yeah. We just saying fucking, right? We just saying fucking. Choke me, don't but if I me. come in the house and then you sit up here, because we ain't emotional. Shut mm-hmm. up. Shut up right now, right? But me saying it, the women that's on here, like, who the fuck he talking to? But you know, when we fucking you, yeah. We're going to grab you by your hand. Shut the yeah. fuck up. And then the water will All right, be. then. So don't sit up and pretend like you don't like to be dominated. Throw me down. Throw me down, Grady. Throw me down, Grady. Get the fuck out of here. That's why you can't what leave. What she said? Throw me down, Grady. <laughs> Throw me down. Let me Tie me up, Grady. Throw me down, down Grady. Huh? Throw me down, right? Grady. <laughs> Throw me down, Grady. Grady, put Tommy up with your scarf, Grady. Okay. Throw me down. Throw me down, Grady. Throw me down. Put your beard on my titties, Grady. Throw me down. So every woman <laughs> likes the man to be the fucking man. Absolutely. At the end of the day, I don't get no fucking, we don't care about your job. Yeah. And I understand that you don't like this nigga, but you feel like you can get away with it. Yeah. Or you don't like this bra, but you feel like you don't get away, you're going to get away with it, right? I'm mm-hmm. saying like who like you. That's all. Thank so you. So when it come down to making million dollar decision, I don't want to see you hoes at the camp because I know you ain't going to get me no Spalding rack so I can shoot the jump shots in the gym. Yeah. I know you're not going to show me how to really be about this other shit, which is I'm raised with two parents. You raised with one. So I'm better than you because I know how to understand mm-hmm. conflict resolution, not what you. What if the two parents you had were toxic? Oh. And the that's one a good one. They had was that's healthy. a good one, nigga. You might oh, not La- be better. Latoya said, "Throw her down." Hey, I <laughs> throw me down, baby. Throw me down. Hey, no, Toya, what up, baby? Just, just make your whole living room full. Of, you know that, that, that <laughs> big ass couch that was pillow. Throw me down, baby. Just pick throw her down. ass up hey. and throw, throw her down. down. Throw me down, down. baby. But no, I mean, with all with all due respect, like, though, I just feel like. It's the media, the propaganda, the 10, 20 percent, and that makes up the world. And, you know, I mean, in the decision when people see shit like, oh, I ain't going for that or I ain't going for this. But, it, you know, let's just keep it a buck. If we go to soccer games mm-hmm. in the other world, the other countries, it's mostly men. Their wives is up there with the owners. They're not yeah. down. There. I'm not saying that they're not, but basketball joints, mm-hmm. Super Bowl, yeah. All-Star Weekend. Yeah. Horse is there to come up. Horse. Oh, what? Uh, help uh, Cause we ain't gonna go. We ain't gonna go to the WNBA uh, All Star game. Black men, we ain't going to see them. It's some fine WNBA players. It's some bad. It's some bad ones. It's some bad ones. But you don't know, cause even what's the sister got Brittany Griner. She got married to a beautiful broad. Yeah, that she's pregnant now. She's beautiful. I was no, like, you know God. what I, thought, I found out though. Mm-hmm. A lot of the baddies in the WNBA. Be the side bitch for the NBA player. Oh wow! Because they not getting bread, they not getting paid like that. Oh, but they know. So they bread. still oh. the side piece or the or or the main piece because yeah. KD had a girl in the in in the WNBA. A few other NBA players had a woman from the WNBA, and I get it. Only but I don't think nobody really. To me, you just mentioned his name. I don't think it's gonna be a woman that's gonna be able to deal with Kevin Durant. Why? Why his hairline? Because his hair. Because of the green women. Oh, no. Listen, listen. Because he don't want the mud duck. See what he should get him a mud duck, right? Because he wanted what's the sister name? He wanted uh, one of them little singing bras. Not Latoya Luckett. It was a sister. 
I thought he wanted, did he want to sue? No, he I wanted the, um, I, I was looking right at the broad. Carrie Hilson. Ice, Ice he wanted okay. Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hilson? But, come on, Carrie Hilson will never, come on, knock it off. That's, that was Serge Ibaka's broad. Yeah, yeah, you, oh, come on, Serge. Hey. Right, but guess what happened? Oh, what's her name? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, you got to really deal with, if you were, like you said earlier, if you were five, go get you a five, nigga. No, but and if the five. woman is a five, go get you a five, bitch. Let me, can, I, can I tell you something? Go ahead. I've seen, I, I have encountered, there was a couple women that on the outside there were fives, but when you start talking to that bitch, or when she came in the room, she demanded she demanded attention. Everybody, she loved her, and she she became more than a ten. It was like it was like have I you ever met it. a woman that's like I believe it. you know it may not be beauty standards but they spirit make them sisters are dope yes. that's why I only yes. listen yes. y'all crazy on the emotion but y'all really fucking dope black women are dope yeah. dope as fuck they dope, dope as a motherfucker dope. I don't dope care how stuff. I don't care how mean you look because you still want me to throw you down okay, okay throw, me, throw down. me down okay don't nobody breathe throw me down okay. no bad news don't nobody <laughs> throw me down okay. <laughs> Go ahead, hey, so. I'm gonna say this. Hey, we should stop expecting so much from each other mm. because we're toxic. I say we are toxic as a community. The reason you get motherfuckers who really think they got it together, real shit, because things are going okay right now, real shit, right? The level of having it together is determined by what you were able to get through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can't get through shit, that's indicative that you don't have it together. And what I'm trying to explain to all of you guys is this. Mm -hmm. We should stop expecting from each other. If we're not really doing no work, let's just put the expectations away. Talk this shit. Let's just say... Hey, let's ride this wave until the bitch crash. And if it crash, let's just walk away. Because I'm I'm telling you, man, I'm looking at how people are interacting. They're interacting from an escape perspective. Oh, let me get away from this bad person who didn't do right by me or I deserve be I deserved better from. Let me get what I deserve. Agree. And I'm saying if you don't do the real work that is required, like if you still have a mindset that somebody did it, you know how we look at babies and we play with the babies and we say to the babies, who, who did, did it? it? Yeah. Who did it? Mm -hmm. They be crying, who did it? And you know, as they get older, they get conditioned and they understand this motherfucker did it, right? right there. When they babies, they don't know. But we, uh, many of us carry that who did it mentality into relationships and we turn the who did it into you did it no we have to start going into realities from a space of realism i know something is wrong with you because i know something is wrong with me and we're here together in this moment right now and this moment might be good dick might be hard coochie oh. might be wet oh my god you understand what I'm saying? Bellies might be full. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. But guess what? The reason for why we're together is going to show up. And that's going to determine whether we're going to be able to maintain anything solid or real. How we deal with it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, you have a couple women in here. Uh, I, I and they're talking about the fact that the use of bitches and hoes and stuff like that, and they're saying that they're a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm a woman too, ladies. I'm I'm here, and I think that what the... Is, wait, hold on. Yeah. Because that's off the topic that I was no, talking but, about. No but, no, but I'm just saying because what, there was just, just... There's something to address it because there is, it's coming up in the chat room quite a bit. Who is who's saying it? It's quite... I don't want to call out any names, but it's, it's a couple women that's really been talking about that. Call the names so I can... I want to address them. <laughs> uh, pretty brown Mimi I love you Mimi but you know you know say it's it's a couple of now here's the thing no one's being disrespectful uh, okay Mimi is the home girl she likes to come in and kick up a little dust every now and again I like Mimi so but let and me just say thinks, this mm -hmm. women got to stop calling each other bitches yeah. 
You can't have it both ways. Don't nobody call bitches bitches more than bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who call women bitches more than women? You can't say men do. I Listen, we don't talk as much as y'all. And when y'all get together, anywhere from 500 to, 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 to 500,000 to 5 million words can be spoken. And I'm sure a third of that is, bitch, do you understand, bitch? Let me, who you talking to, bitch? Yeah. Uh-uh, bitch. Y'all call each other bitches more than men do. Y'all just get offended when men call you bitches. Let's just keep it a buck. So do you see how you get to live in a delusional ass, goofy ass world? <laughs> how the fuck you got an expectation that men should not call you bitches and women call each other bitches more? That's just like women saying niggas be lying. <laughs> but then turn around and say, women are better liars than men, but we don't be lying. Shut up, bitch. How the, <laughs> oh my God. the fuck up, bitch? Oh, That's what you want to say. God. That was perfect. That's comic timing right there. Go ahead, so. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> How you better perfect. at lying, but you don't lie? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How you keep your lie sword sharp, but you don't be doing it? Bitch. <laughs> Comic genius. Keep going. You know, women are better at lying than men because men are stupid. This is what we hear from women. Men are dumb. Men don't know how to lie. Huh. Men be making excuses. Do you know women got whole teams of flying monkeys that support <laughs> their lies? <laughs> a wim women have a whole crew they of probably mad now. They probably she mad was with me, and I can attest to it. <laughs> Women will send pictures a week in advance of them with their friend, right? Chilling with the homegirl. And then the homegirl is on deck to deliver the evidence. Hey, she was with me. Listen, how is it that you've mastered lying? Nigga. But you don't lie. Boy. I just, what the fuck? Oh, this nigga bet not who you calling a bitch. Uh, but listen here, bitch. You done did that thing. What? Y'all call each other bitches. But I can't call you a bitch? <laughs> my lord, my, 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 Hey, I don't know. Why do they do that, though? Sarah, why do, why do you think women, why do they get so... Because they don't want to be reminded who they are. Uh, no, I think or, that I, I think that the realism, the uh, the delusional um, thing of a woman, where we feel as if we're we're above that. You can't yeah. call me this name and stuff like that. But we say much much worse to uh, to each other. So I think you can't really like. But it's easier for me to point your finger at you instead of myself. So women don't like the mirror. Um, I think not. a lot of don't because the thing is, is that Michael Jackson. Everybody loved the Michael Jackson song, but he said the man. He did say the man. He said the man. He did. Hey, listen, we got one more <laughs> thing to cover. We might as well get to it. Go ahead, bro. Drake responds to oh. Kendrick. Uh oh. I'm from a different generation, man. I'm from a different generation, like. Yeah. Kendrick's. This record was the closest to my generation. The energy, the lyricism, how you attack motherfuckers, how you set up your, your diss battle. Listen, I gave this example last week. Like When Nas responded to the takeover mm. Mm. with Ether. Yeah, he murdered Jay-Z over there was, that one. There was no question. It wasn't this peanut butter soft ass responses. No. You know, I got more money than you. I got, I, I got, more money. I got bitches you only can dream about. I got, <laughs> Say it again. I got bitches only you can dream about. <laughs> yeah. This is so crazy. What do you say, big bro? What do you say? I got more money. Hey, do I got more money. Than you. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What he what he say so? I got my money. Man. <laughs> I got bitches only you can dream about. Why you stupid? My I just be softness. like, what? <laughs> that is crazy. 
Well, you stupid. Nigga, go back to Ether. Fuck Jay Z. Hey man, you stupid. You you talking shit, nigga? You been on my dick, nigga? You love my style. It's a whole nah, different yeah, energy. Nah, nah, was murder. Game blouses. Go back to fucking <laughs> Ice Cube. Oh yeah, I didn't forget, <laughs> nigga. It's a different energy. That's the nigga y'all want to name your company after? Come on, these niggas Ugh, here, that was boy. Rough. That was rough. That was rough. These niggas are soft as toilet tissue, man. Oh. But all of them probably, if you think about it, is that Future? That's Kendrick. That's Drake. Rick Jay Ross Cole. not on there, but he's who is that little boy with the red hat? Um, I think that's Metro. I don't know who Metro Boom is, so maybe he's a dope producer. Oh, okay, but he he probably raps too. They got motherfucking Jay Cole on there looking like the Temptation of Christ. Okay. <laughs> 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 One thing I, I can this cup. <laughs> I can say because I listen to I don't uh, I listen to them all actually I just like Drake earlier shit when you like everybody when they hungry that's the best shit that they ever gonna put out yeah in my personal opinion listen stick to the you the you the best you the you the best <laughs> best I ever had stick to the highlight bling you the you the best. <laughs> You the you the bear, best I ever had. It's God's plan. <laughs> Stick to that shit, my nigga. Stop. Don't you ain't got to respond to everybody, man. Oh. That oh. motherfucker, Kendrick jumped out on their ass. They wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, let's get it, bro. <laughs> nigga, come on. <laughs> Fuck the big three. It's just me. It's okay for man diss you, man. Never diss a nigga with Michael Dreads. Hey. <laughs> if you ain't got the bullets in the chamber, man, don't. Hey, man. Hey. Something's wrong with you. Mama. Mama. But you know, Drake did that the same thing when he did the control verse. This is Kendrick's second time going at his comrade. Yeah. And ain't nobody man enough to challenge him. <sighs> Only motherfucking really. So here's the thing y'all too friendly. Comedy. Niggas too friendly. Instead of saying, you ain't shit, nigga, on the stage. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's right. competition. No, right. nobody want to do that. Now you mad. Right. So when you spit us, fake spit us, or, you know, all you niggas, most of these niggas, Drake, he got the hoes. He don't have the streets. I already said Drake is Drake this got the hoes. era's LL Cool J. Yeah. Oh, I, I get that. Yeah. I oh, but LL was fine. Drake not fine. He just like he, he cool. on the Jewish Millhouse yeah. side of the game. Yeah, That's cool. Aubrey. Aubrey. Oh my God, he has baby hair like Nigga. a lace front or something. Like I don't know. Look what hip hop not... did to Canada. Oh my God. They didn't even listen. Listen, Cardinal Official. To me, he was Canada's top nigga. Mm -hmm. You know Cardinal Official? Do I? Not at all. How the fuck is you a music nigga? You don't know who Cardinal Official is? Mm. Can you say the shit slower, nigga? I want to hear the song. Cardinal with a K. Oh. Official. Official, oh. not oh, official. official. See, don't oh, get mad because you you're Fishburne. not speaking was, English, nigga. I do Cardinal Well, no, no. Official. Well, first of all, you a spitter, so you got to know who these niggas are, man. I'm trying to hear you, what yeah. the fuck. But okay. I'm saying I'm saying he was, he was was he's Canadian. Right? Okay. He's Canadian. Oh, okay. Tory Lane's Canadian. Yeah. Drake is Canadian. Yeah. yeah. What's the little boy? The little, the little white little boy. What's the white little boy? Justin, Justin Bieber, Bieber, Canadian, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So they got they got heat up there, man. It's just it's, let's it's just say um, the world likes the light skin. Nigga. It's cold six months. I'm gonna say this Not the year. for <laughs> for this era. Real shit. <laughs> if we go back to Modi's uh, his uh, triad, there's always a big three, and he wasn't even appreciated. There's always yeah. a big three. This is where J. Cole was on spot on. The big three for this time is himself, K. Dot, mm -hmm. and Drake. Mm -hmm. But unique to Drake, as Cool Mo D would always explain, he said, "There's a big three, but there's always a superstar amongst." The big three. So there's a big three, and then there's a superstar. There's always Beyonce, then Kelly Rowland, and Michelle. Right. But there, there's a big three at a time. So in 88, because Sarah don't know what she's talking about. She's trying to be <laughs> funny. She don't know what she's talking about. In well, 88. No, that's right. She, yeah, she, she no, but in 88, the big three was Big Daddy Kane, KRS-One, and Rakim. Oh, yeah. Okay. But the superstar in 88 is who? I thought you were going to say LL. LL. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
I said LL. All right. But not only LL, you have Will Smith. Like these are big times. You had, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You you had motherfucking Heavy D. Like yeah. there's always a star star. Yeah. Drake of this time is part of the big three, and he's the star of this time. Real shit. But do you do you, you got to give him that credit? But do you think that the other one, because LL was like a one off, like he was. He was more solo, and all of them came kind of a group because they were kind of like fit, kind of the style though. Girl, what you talking about? You were talking about LL and back then the day. You know what I'm saying? You were saying they were all. Oh, you saying just only one LL? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I saw like one. One was Rock more, him, One Big Daddy Kane. One KRS. Like I know, but there, there, there are three, whatever. But when you think of that era, whatever, you think of all those three together. No, you, you don't, girl. You wasn't. Even, how old was you? How old you? Sir? I was. I'm. I'm 43. How oh, she was there. She was there. She was there. She was there. I'll be 40, but at the same time, I can listen to She's about eight. She's about oh, eight years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's about eight. You know, first of all. Them niggas didn't come together. <laughs> I saw, no, 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 I'm saying that come together when you, it's more, when you talk about them, you talk about them in, in a sentence together. But okay. when you're talking about them in a sentence together, you don't include LL in the, in the same theme. When you because have he wasn't their caliber. Yeah. Yeah, because he was. Of his own, he was his own special little. So you saying Drake and LL Carter they own this? That's what you're saying. And amongst the three, Drake Drake is like he's hip hop and like melodic. You know what I'm saying? He does like the the lover boy romance thing, but the other ones didn't. Somebody said Sarah wasn't paying attention. She wasn't. I wasn't. I am paying attention. No, that's why we said Sarah. You reiterating some shit that's preventing us from moving on. Okay, I'm (laughs) sorry. I'm I'm just saying you saying the same thing. These niggas are the star of this generation he is drake is the bigger of the stars okay. of this generation but that doesn't mean he has the same skill set when no, kendrick sure. drops mm-hmm. the motherfucker shifts the landscape these niggas have not been able to do it like it they drop either before kendrick or a little while after kendrick and they get they run they get they burn but when Kendrick drops, it be a shift. Niggas be like, oh shit, K Dot. This motherfucker done did it. He done said something else. That's what's been happening. He he appeared on somebody's song. He's supposed he to be retired. Supposedly. Allegedly. So that's a different kind of impact. And that's one of the things that Modi was talking about when you know when you diss somebody, the impact matters. When I'm listening. To Nas, niggas didn't expect Nas to do what he did. Not at all. Nick Jay Z was at the height of his powers. Two thousand. Nigga. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. J- Nas destroyed. He dismantled. He got niggas in New York on the radio like, Jay, don't do it, son. It's over, kid. Yeah, my. Yeah. They going crazy. Yo, son. It's over, son. It's a rap, kid. It, the fuck? It was over. What they say, so? Yo, son, <laughs> don't do this shit, son. Oh my god. No, son. Oh my I'm god. saying, son, this shit's over, son. It's a lot going on right now. <laughs> it's a lot going on right now. It's a rap, kid. Word up, kid. This shit done, son. Oh my god. It's over. On, on radio, Woo! it's over. Oh my god. That's why I love you, boy. That shit was done. But you know what? I knew it had to be so big because the streets stopped even talking. I mean, the, the radio <laughs> and MTV, they stopped playing nah shit. Just, it's over. Because he fucked over Jay-Z so much, they was like, we ain't going to even promote Nas. Nah. nah. That's yeah, what, exactly. You know what I mean? They was like, we ain't promoting him no so more. So now we listening to chill battles. You know that chill hip hop? I will shoot you in the face, nigga. I'll wet you. Bow, 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 bow. I got more money. I <laughs> more money than you. Yeah, if I rule the world, only mm-hmm. like you because I discarded them. <laughs> what, what is it? ASMR rap? What is all going of on? your bitches were noises. discarded by me? <laughs> I'm crunching on you, <laughs> <laughs> You have hand-me-down bitches. Uh, I need love. <laughs> <laughs> all of your bitches was my fourth option. <laughs> You got a fourth option, bitches. These niggas is chill battling. I don't know what the fuck. This is. <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta come to my show. You need an NDA. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the I'm fuck doing? kind of battle is this? Trash, bro. Trash. Nothing is earth shaking. Like soft swords. 
these niggas got soft swords. Soft swords. Who have soft swords? It's so swords. funny. You got the Kevin Gates. You got the, the the baby kids. You got all these little boys. <laughs> and I swear, all them killers. Somebody said ASMR rapping. Yeah, that's they what got I'm ASMR battle. She's going to choose me. Why? <laughs> You want to hear me rappers. chew this ice? <laughs> you want to hear me chew this ice? <laughs> Crunch. Crunch. Ice. Crunch. Ice. Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> you want to hear me chew this ice? This stupidest Do you want to hear me scratch the table? Oh. <laughs> Can you ASMR rap. rap. This shit is horrible. Can you rap, rap, rap? Can you rap? <laughs> but you know what's so funny though? Can you woo 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 woo? Hey. If if all you know what's not you know what's never been done though? And that's one thing that, that's missing with these little boys. <laughs> Y'all need to do a we are the world, West Coast yeah, versus East Coast. Coast. We need to do something like that. Cause I think it would bring to me, I, it's almost remember remember when uh self destruction came out? Niggas yeah. was really uh -huh. spitting. Yeah. When I heard Took just a brother's life with a knife and his life. Try, Try when he, he died. died a trifling death. Bad breath. Come on, Zo. Hey. <laughs> back in the 60s, our brothers and sisters was, hey, how could you gang bang? <laughs> I never ever ran from the Ku Klux Klan. And I shouldn't have to run from a black man. So that's, 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 nigga, that's the best shit in the world. Y'all put your whole clavicle in that bitch like, damn. Okay. But he's saying impact, though. Yeah. What, that's impact, right? Right. That's impact. <laughs> And then when the West Coast All Stars had NWA or Butterloaf, I was there. That shit, they beat. That beat was better than Self Destruction. When we beat. Shot, hey, when we shot the video and that Nicholson shit was Garden, hard, bro. I was there. Oh, you was there, <laughs> nigga. I was there. I had a leather jacket that had everybody's signature on it. Will Smith, Easy E. What you and I jacket? fucking threw the jacket away. What? Oh, for real? Oh, because you think it was gonna be big? No, I just. I don't know what I, oh. he was clean, I was doing the cleans. Doing the cleans. That's what that's but detox. I had everybody. <laughs> George Clinton, Hammer. Are you serious? Everybody. Really so. And the shit was fly. I would have jumped in trash can. You was there for the West Coast All Stars. <laughs> there. Damn, man. At the video shoot. We all in the same gang is what it was wow. called. Because my homeboy, James Broadway, he produced a track on that album. He did that? Called No, he produced oh, a say, track. God. Damn. On the album called Black in America. And the shit was so fire. Man, listen, man. I, I've been doing this shit a long time. So that's why I was saying. So these little boys get 12 of them and really go spit. You know who did it? You know who did it with New York? God bless the dead, DJ K Slay. Yeah. He was the last one that did it. So these little kids, and I'm saying kids because, you know, they're younger I mean, than me. They're kids in the game. Yeah, they're children. Yeah, yeah. Right? But I'm saying. These motherfuckers just would, it would be dope if them, all of them just said, let's just get on the, let's just spit. Let's, who will we get the premiere to do the beat? Then we get Metro Boomin do the beat? Or we get Zaytoven? Or we get Knife Wonder to do the beat? I think that'd be dope. Mm -hmm. Let Rhapsody get on that motherfucker. Let uh, Little Mama spit. And I think, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just want to see more. That would be dope to see. What's the next one? That shit would be dope. So listen, I need everybody to support this channel. Y'all get in here on a daily basis. Some, Hit the like button. Some support, some don't. We got nearly 500 people in here, but only 184 likes. We got to get the likes up if we want to get the crowd up. 200 deep in here, an hour long. I'm about to end the show in a few minutes. <clears throat> but do me a solid. Can you guys do me a solid? Can you hit the super chat? The super chat or the cash app, please. Show your support. Grady, May 10th, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be at live at the Connect at the uh, Grady Weekend. This is my third annual, man. For ticket information, you can go to my Instagram, click the link in my bio, or go to raygrady.co. Get your tickets. Pull up on us May 10th, May 11th. But the Relationship Roundup Q&A, me and Big Brother Zoe, that's the 10th and the 11th. That Saturday is the comedy Everybody show. Everybody so in the L.A. It. area, you got to show up May 10th, Ray Grady Weekend. A relationship roundtable is going to be fire. Somebody said, LOL, nah, Zo, that's the name of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my homeboy James Broadway produced it. Y'all got to go look it up. You'll hear it. Hey, but 
continue to support this channel, all right? I need you guys to support. If you want to send to my Cash App, please send to my Cash App. Don't forget, tonight, KBLA, Voice of Reason, has returned to KBLA with another whole slew of topics. <clears throat> I hope Attila got a banger for me because I, I, my mind is still not totally wrapped <coughs> around what we're going to talk about. But if Attila got a banger, I'm going to take it. I appreciate it. Let me tell you something. I know it's hard for y'all to believe. <laughs> Atala, I don't know Atala personally. She really enjoys this show. The Phillips sister. Yeah, yeah. Atala Phillips. Yeah, she don't. Yeah. She really enjoys she really does. the show. Yeah. And she has reached out and connected on a certain level. Okay. Salute, mama. Just because you reached out and connected to me through the DMs, don't think I hook up with everybody on the DMs. Cause I don't. Them DMs be killing y'all. <laughs> Keep talking, so I ain't saying No, nothing. I'm just saying. Just cause I met you that way don't mean <laughs> I meet everybody that way. The young girl is smart. Mm -hmm. Intelligent, she comes from, she understands the content, and she be sending me topics. Okay. You talking about me? Huh? You talking about, okay. No, he's talking about the. I'm talking about okay. Atala. Oh, yeah, she, because okay, you know, because she's from Houston, right? You know, that's what we do, right? Yeah. That's where you from? Yeah, she exactly. She's from Houston. Hometown. She's Hometown. Hey, Marcus Stone. Gosha. Hometown, baby. We appreciate it, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Hey, good looking, Marcus. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, can we can we um Zoak Max and then one favor? Yogi Fish just sent me ten on the cash app. We Yogi got a Fish. Of cash apps. We need help on the cash app, super chat, whatever you guys could do. Please show your support. What you came in and showed me your your wrist. Are they outside ready to go? Uh, they are, but I um one of your longtime listeners, uh, Lloyd Hinton. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to send uh, healing energy to him. Um, he um just had. Uh, another line of chemo today. So we Lloyd Hinton, man, I'm praying for you. Lord Lloyd Hinton, we praying for you, brother. We praying for your healing. We praying for your upliftment. We're praying for your recovery, brother. Yeah. I hope all is well with you. I hope you pull together, but you can't be negative. Mm -hmm. You cannot think negative during this process. I know it's rough on you, but you cannot be in a negative mindset, brother. All right, you cannot be in a negative mindset. Prayers and healing for you, brother. All right. Yeah. But you gotta feel like the victory is already yours. Amen. You have to feel that way, even though it hurts, even though it's difficult. You gotta feel like this is making me better. This is making me stronger. If you feel that it isn't, it's gonna manifest that way, brother. All right. So. Any pain you feel is pain towards your purpose, pain towards your progress, pain towards your improvement, mm -hmm. all right? That's how you have to look at it. That's how you have to frame it in your mind, okay? We got a meeting outside. I'm 15 minutes late. I'm sorry. We appreciate y'all. That's why we started early. Don't forget, hit my cash app. Show your support. We appreciate Ray Grady for ducking in. Yeah. We got to call it a night. Got it. <clears throat> all right. Love y'all. Love. Oh, yeah, and y'all can y'all can hear my cash out too though. Hit, hit, oh, hit Sarah Cash App. <laughs> Thank you, L Jefferson. <laughs> Thank you, brother. LS. LS, LS. Yeah. Thank y'all. Will Motley. Good. Will Motley. Thank you. All right, let's get outside. And Sarah, right. you can leave that rolling for a while. We're gonna leave the Oh, gonna, oh, I got you. I got we're gonna you. leave Go the chat up for a minute so you guys can support if you want to support. Thank you, good brother. We're going to leave the chat all up, right, all right? Man. Right. We're going to leave it up for maybe five or ten minutes. So okay. if you guys want to support, you can support. All right, love y'all. Sarah, I'm going to hit you on the um, 